What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. Welcome to part 3 of the MC Edit programming tutorial. And today we are learning how to create an entity. And in our case, the entity we are going to create is the villager um, with the name that we can define here and the profession that we can define on the options too. And the, this isn't as simple as the creation of a block because um, any entity, a tile entity, has MBT data and this MBT data has to be saved and um, written to the world by MC Edit. And to do this, we first have to know what MBT data a mob has or an entity. And since a villager is nothing else than just an entity, um, and we want to create a villager, we're going to tell MC Edit um, what the villager has as nbt tags and first I'm going to show you um, how we do this I just created a villager and I'm going to look at it now um, as using the nbt editor filter and this is just to show you um, in a little bit more detail how nbt works it's not necessary and to convert nbt data to code we're going to use Sethpling's um, entity code filter and what I'm doing now is since I just created this entity here I'm just um, loading this world in MC Edit, and then I just select that entity and hit um, filter on the entity code filter the link for the download is in the description and if we now look to the console um, some random code, okay it's actually not random, has been outputted here and what we're going to do is we um, right click here, um, go to edit and select, then we select all of this, then we right click again, edit, copy. Okay, and this code um, we're going to paste now to our MC edit filter. And obviously this is all for the import section up here. And tag list, tag byte, tag int and so on are all part of the NBT data system. And um, for example, I'm just heading over to the tutorial world again. And I'll just show you. Uh, what what it looks like actually um, uh, The first thing that is here is the tag compound, which is just a container um, uh, called villager in our case there it's called root and Then the first thing in our code is drop chances drop chances Which is a tag list and this is um, defined here and everything that's inside of this list is going is defined by MC edit using this dot append feature so it's just adding the same value five times which just resembles this here and what I want to show you um, yes and for example these normal ones here for example invulnerable is a byte and um, it's it should be somewhere here. Yes, here it, here it is and it's set to zero because it's set to zero here and so on and we can Modify how we want to have the villager set for example if we want that his custom name is um, Sonny for example Then and we save this his name is going to be Sonny and if we edit this here um, in the MC edit list in MC edit uh, to Sony, it's going to be created as Sony like before, but um, yeah, first we, as always, have to import the variables from the options here, and so once we create, we just make a variable called name, and we take this from the options villager name. Uh, this is now a string, like we defined it here, and uh, create villager 
is going to be imported by create villager. This is going to be set to true if it's checked and going to be set to false if it's not checked or to one or zero. You can handle this um, uh, with both ways. And if we now just want to import the villager profession, this is a little bit more complicated as you may have thought because it's one of these tuple elements. Um, so villager profession, profession, oh, I already spoiled it. Profession equals professions, then options, then villager profession. And that's just how you do it. Um, you just have to remember it. Uh, yeah, you see, this is the way you just do it. Um, profession. Um, it's taking from the professions list the the one that you selected in villager profession. That's just how you do it for tuples. If it would be called jobs, like last time, you just call it jobs here. Okay. And now that everything of the options, that every options are imported, we can use them. Now, because if we just do it this way, there are just some um, random variables becoming defined. And so what I do is I want everything of this to be compacted on one line. So I can just say create it and it, then it does everything which um, of this code here. So what I write is I just write define and then create villager. You can use any name here. And it's like the define perform. MC edit knows what perform does and it does everything what's after the perform once you hit filter. But in this case, um, when you write create villager here, it does everything that you tell it after the define. So and because we have to tell the create villager some variables, for example, which name the villager should have or which profession he should have and the coordinates of the villager, obviously, which are defined here. There is this tag list defined and then the X, Y and Z position. Um, we're going to give the uh, um, create villager div, um, yeah, option that we're doing here some things that he, he can work with. For example, we want the coordinates, so we write X, Y, and Z. And then we want the name and the profession. And we can now give these um, variables to the create villager up here. And they don't have to have the same name as here. So for example, if I write 20, 3, um, 41 and sev 3 or 7 or whatever um, it's going to be x, x, y and z for the create villager here. So if I write x it's going to be the 23 that I defined up here. But obviously the x coordinate shouldn't always be 23 for the villager and so on. So the villager should stand one block above the block that we created. So the coordinates are x block y plus 1 and z and the name of the villager is like the name that we imported here so its name and the profession is the profession that we um, yes defined in the tuple over there okay so now that the create villager has something to work with and um, we just have to select all of this and hit tab one so it's just um, so I'm said it knows it's that it's under the create villager and not something that stands alone. Okay, and obviously what it does now it just creates some variables, but um, uh, we now can modify them as we want. For example, the custom name should be in our case name and not always an empty name. So it's just name now, and it's now called how we find it in the options. And because we want the custom name to be visible, not only if you look at the villager, but um, just always like if he was a player, we make this to one. And the X, Y, and Z coordinates, we can define 
this way. We just put x, y, and z, and it takes the coordinates that are given here, here, and here as x, y, and z. And yeah, is there something else that we want to have? Yes, of of course the profession, and because um, what I did in in uh, what I earlier did was I just gave the villager a name, uh, the profession with the profession ID actually. So for example, if I create uh, different villages here, you see if I hit nbt edit the profession value for the purple villager is 2 and you see uh, this is like the same as here and the white villager over here will have 4 as profession yes that's true also and the only one that's not existing is 6 um, so we have to accept it and if it's not 6 we're just uh, giving it the profession that we defined up there and if it is 6 we're going to give it a random one. So where do we have profession for the villager? Um, just looking. Ah, here we go. Um, so we have to give it this uh, condition that it has to be um, uh, a profession that's not 6. So if profession is not um, this uh, expression means is not 6 then we hit tab for this again and uh, then it gives it the profession that we defined but if if it is we're going to give it a random so else um, we're going to give it a random one um, a random one from 1 to 5 and because MC Edit again doesn't know a uh, random like the alpha materials, we have to import random randomness for the win. And I'm not really sure if it uh, if I have to do it this way. Yes, I have to do it this way. Okay. So um, there are some more operators than is not equals not. Obviously, there are equals, which is two equal signs behind. Only one equal sign means you define a variable. Then uh, is small is bigger than, is smaller than, is bigger or equals to, or is smaller and equals to. And yeah, these are just operators that you are going to need um, once you're programming something that's more complicated. Okay. So what it does now, if the profession is not 6, it gives the profession and else it gives it a random profession. I hope um, everybody of you understood this. And yeah. Uh, we, and since it's still only defining these variables, we have to tell MC Edit that it has to apply these variables to the chunk because the chunk holds every entity that's um, uh, on the map that's in the chunk I mean so for example if if this is part of a chunk and this is part of a chunk uh, this chunk would hold the entity that's inside of this chunk and the next chunk would hold the entity that's inside of this chunk so um, uh, we're going to um, define first variable chunk chunk equals level dot get chunk and now we have to tell MC edit which chunk and um, we are actually at so it's um, and because every chunk is 16 by 16 by 256 because a chunk has all heights that you can have um, because of this we are writing x by 16 and z by 16 uh, because this means every 16 blocks there is a new chunk so we just um, write it like this and it automatically gets us the right chunk and uh, because level uh, we, we only get level from the define perform and we have to give level to the create villager 
like we gave the other variables to um, the create villager. I would just give it, pass it over. And then what we have to do is we're going to append the entities that we defined over here to the chunk. And chunk is just a variable we defined here, so the correct chunk. And since this is the tag compound that holds everything, like um, every of these attributes is inside of this tag compound called villager, we're going to append the villager variable to the chunk. And for other entities, it's maybe going to be called witch or spider or whatever it's called. You just have to see up there. And for tile entities, this works as well, but it's um, a little bit other. It's a little bit different. And the last thing we're going to do is we write chunk dirty equals true, which causes the chunk to update and save the changes. So what this now does is once we just um, write create villager here with the values, um, it's going to do all of these things for us. And finally, it's going to append the entity to the chunk. And I think this is pretty great and the filter by Sethbring is pretty great. And the last thing that we're going to do now is we're going to reload the MC Edit world, obviously. And then we're going to just select a region, hit filter, we select a tutorial filter, then the Y position 68. The material is going to be wood planks. Obviously we want to create a villager. Oh, what I forgot is um, I have to say only if it's checked um, it's going to create a villager. So if create villager equals one you're going to create a villager. Only if it's checked. Uh, so I just want to reload that filter. So we check create villager. It's He's going to be called um, Barry and they should be random. Now I hit filter and the global name rand is not defined. Maybe I copied something wrong. Okay, so I found the mistake. Everything you have to do is instead of rand, you just write random dot rand int, which means it creates a random integer, which is just a very big amount of numbers that can be there. And I don't want to have Camtasia Studio there. And if I now head over to MC Edit, reload the filter, it should, yes, it worked. It should create me everything random. And there's only one thing I forgot because um, if I give it a, just a, a coordinate like 200 at SX and it puts the villager to the edge of the block. So what I do is I write x plus 0 0.5 and z plus 0 0.5 and now it should create the villagers on the middle of each block. I will just try again. And this time I'm going to do it out of cobblestone. And the names are going to be Randy because of the random who funny. And you see now they're on the middle of the block. And if I now head over to Minecraft and see what I created. You see it worked. They look randomly. They're random, have random names. No, they don't have random names, but they have random colors and they are created and that's everything you have to do i think it wasn't that hard and next time we're going to go to something more complicated and tell me what i can do better as always and see you in the next video bye